Hi everyone. Today we're going to have a very short lesson on self-esteem and body image. Self-esteem is defined as the confidence in one's own worth or abilities. Okay, so how much do you value yourself? How well are you able to do things? Again, this is a self-evaluation. We often refer to it as self-respect in everyday life. So self-esteem is a highly positive factor in one's life. It's correlated with achievement, good relationships, and overall life satisfaction. So the more you value yourself or the higher your self-worth, the more likely you are to have good achievements and good relationships. So on the low end of the spectrum, if you have low self-esteem or little self-regard, this can lead to people becoming depressed, falling short of their potential, or even um, to tolerate abusive situations and relationships. Okay, so one of the issues we have when we have like a case of domestic abuse is one of the individuals has too low self-esteem, right? They don't value themselves enough to get out of the situation. On the other hand though, too much self-love can result in an off-putting sense of entitlement and an inability to learn from failures. You've probably known somebody like this or they think they're so amazing, it becomes annoying. Okay. It can also be a sign of classic narcissism. High self-esteem typically improves academic and professional success. And like most things, it does ebb and flow over time, especially with age. So again, it is correlated with success. The more you have, the better you'll do typically. Okay. And you can probably imagine or think of how self-esteem ebbs and flows over age right when you're young doesn't really play that much of a factor and then once you hit around the puberty age it decreases depending on your gender right? but typically our self-esteem grows and hits a pretty high or hits a high in our 20s and 30s Body image, on the other hand, is different than self-esteem. This is the main distinction I want you guys to take away from this PowerPoint. Okay, we often use these terms interchangeably, but they do not mean the same thing. So body image is what you believe about your own appearance. Okay, so while both of these, self-esteem and body image, are subjective, body image is what you think about your own appearance. Okay, how you think others think of you, how you feel about your own body. Okay, self-esteem is how much you value yourself. So you can value yourself outside of your body image, right? You can value, I'm really good at work, I'm an excellent reader, I enjoy learning, whereas body image is all about your appearance. So it includes how you feel about your body, including your height, shape, and weight how you sense and control your body as you move, right? People can become very self-conscious about like how they walk. You can think about um, someone with low self-esteem exercising, right? They might feel really self-conscious about their body image during that. And it also includes how you physically experience or feel in your body. Right? Are you uncomfortable all the time? Are you self-conscious? Right? Are you really confident, etc. So again, the body image is the subjective picture or mental image of one's own body, okay? It is almost never an exact replication of what is your actual body, okay? So people with negative body image have a greater likelihood of developing an eating disorder and are more likely to suffer from feelings of depression, isolation, low self-esteem, and obsessions with weight loss. So I think this is pretty intuitive right if you feel like your body is worse than it is in reality right you're probably going to have an obsession with improving your body okay so i want you to take a second and think about why do we have body image issues because these issues are very prevalent in today's society so what are the main three things you think cause body image issues Well, here's one of the reasons I think and scientists think that we have body image issues. Okay. 
So one, we live in a world that has an immense amount of advertising. Okay, we have advertisements everywhere. It's almost ridiculous, okay? And a lot of these advertisements don't reflect the average body, okay? So we have to be careful, or we should be careful when discussing normal bodies or real bodies, right? So one of the things that can be very annoying is people saying, oh, these models don't have real bodies, okay? They do have real bodies, they're real people, they really look like that, unless, you know, they've been photoshopped. But when we talk about real bodies, we want to talk about average bodies, right? Models don't reflect, or what you think of when you think of typical models, don't reflect the public body shape, okay? So on average, it's very good to be representative of the population, okay? Just like every character in a movie should not be white enabled, right? You want to represent the population in its true form, okay? So again, we have lots of models. We have an ideal body image of being five foot ten and one hundred ten pounds, right? But this is not realistic. And we often forget to talk about men when we discuss the, the issues with models. Okay, the same thing occurs with men. While they don't suffer from as many body image issues, it's still important to talk about. Okay. So on the other hand, women are often portrayed as extremely tall and extremely thin. Men are typically very muscular. So I want you to take another second to think. So if we were scientists measuring body image and completing some experiments, how could we take a sample of people and measure their body image? So again, body image is their perception of their body. So how could you possibly measure that? Okay, well, just like every other content area we've discussed, you can also measure body image by using questionnaires. So it is a little more finicky, okay? But we have this scale that is often used, okay? So this is an image that you would see as a participant and you would be asked, look at the scale of body sizes and choose which one most accurately depicts your body shape and size, okay? So take a second and figure out which one you would rate yourself as. And they're labeled one on the thinnest side to nine on the heaviest side. Which body shape do you think most represents you? It can be a little hard to choose, and these are pretty crude drawings, but I think that's intentional. But on average, people, let me repeat this, on average, people overestimate their body size, okay? So this is different depending on your culture and your cultural values, okay? So people in other countries might answer differently. People in different cultures might answer differently within the United States, okay? So not every subgroup of people has the same ideal body image that they're striving for, right? So when we're talking about white women, they often wanna be very lean, okay? That can be different for the black population, which has a strong emphasis on being curvy, right? Which is much more body positive but it can change the goal body shape, right? And that's important to keep in mind. So again, you would most likely overestimate your body image at least by one, okay? So if you said, I look like a six, right? You might typically actually look more like a five, okay? And again, this is a very interesting area of research. I really recommend if you're remotely interested in it, you look up some scientific articles. I sat in on a dissertation last semester that was exactly about this. It focused on body image issues in black women in the Delta of Mississippi, and it was fascinating, right? So she took this, the student took this sample of black and white women and then measured what they wanted to look like, right? Like which one of these would you choose to look like if you could? And then they measured what they really thought they looked like. And then they took actual 
physical measurements, right? They took their waist circumference, their hips, their bust, and they did BMI and weight measurements. And what they found, what she found, was that white women, the white women in the sample, overestimated their weight and body size. So they thought they were larger or heavier than they really were. And the black women in the sample actually underestimated. Okay, so that was really interesting. Here's another sample um, of the survey. So these again are silhouettes. These ones are a little more updated, they're less crude, but it shows the exact same thing. And here's another one for measuring children. So in conclusion, this is the main thing I want you to take away, right? It's the difference between self-esteem and body image. It's important that you're able to use these distinctively. Okay? Self-esteem is the confidence in your worth or abilities, and body image is what you believe about your own appearance.